Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are creating scale drawings. So we are going to use some great tools and create some scale drawings. First off, you want to have some graph paper. That's paper that kind of looks like this. We're going to go over a sample question and then give you a bit of an activity as a practice. Let's get into it. Graph paper is paper that looks like this background. It's really helpful for making drawings, and when you have graph paper, you want to try and make a, um, a scale that is easy to use. Usually a single unit, like one square, is equal to one square foot. That makes it really easy and nice, and it makes your drawings kind of make sense. Let's take a look at actually creating a scale drawing. I'm going to use that scale I recommended before. One unit is one foot. So if I was asked to draw a 5 foot by 5 foot square, I would draw it in this way. I would draw one 5 unit measurement line right there, another 5, a 5, and a 5. Now I've created a 5 by 5 square on this graph paper. It's nice because you use a ruler usually as a straight edge, but you don't need to use it to measure. The squares on the paper itself are your measuring unit. Let's do another one. Again, with my scale of being one unit is one foot, I'm going to draw a rectangular room that is 10 and a half feet by 8 feet. So I will draw these measurements. This one is 8. This one here is 10 and a half, 8, and 10 and a half. Pretty straightforward. The 10 and a half, often when you're making scale drawings, will be a bit of a guess, um, especially on graph paper, unless it needs to be really accurate. If you're especially wanting it to be accurate, what you can do is make each unit half of a foot, or 6 inches. And then you'll go 2 units, or 2 two units on the graph paper for each foot, and then that half a foot will be just one unit. Now what we're going to do is take this room and make it a little bit more interesting. We're going to add a two foot by three foot table. There we go. Our table is two feet by three feet, a rectangular table. Now I'm going to say, you know what? I want you to put that table one foot from the left wall and one foot from the back wall. I say, okay, let's move it over there. Next, um, I want to add a one and a half foot by five foot pink couch along the right wall. There we go. And I even centered this one on the wall, which means it doesn't line up exactly with the lines, but that's okay. It's five feet, so it'll have one and a half feet on either side. It's one and a half feet um, by five feet. That's my pink couch. And now I'm going to add a three foot wide red front door four feet from the left side. This has got a lot of instruction on it. We want the door to be three feet wide. We want it to be red. And then we want it to begin four feet from the left side of this room. So it will look like that. There's our three foot door. Notice it's three feet in measurement and it is four feet from the left side of this room. And there you go. A scale drawing of a room that has a two by three table, a one and a half by five couch, and a three foot front door. And this is when our activity comes in. What you can do now is measure the room that you are currently in and make a scale drawing. Include at least three items in the room to make it a little bit more challenging. That's how you can practice with scale drawings. Get some graph paper, measure a room out, and then add in a couple of the items that are in the room. Make sure you move them away from the wall the appropriate amount like we did with the table and make it as close to a scale drawing as you can. This activity will help you to better understand scale drawings and it's kind of fun.
So remember, graph paper is your friend. When you're making a scale drawing, make sure that the scale factor is something that is easy to work with and appropriate for the size of the room that you are making. I hope that video was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.